right, welcome into Five Reasons to Bet. That's our guy, J-Rod. I'm Ethan Skolnick. If you have been following us, you did pretty well on Monday night in the NCAA final. Not only did the underplay, which was a little dicey there at the end. I called it a little bit too early on Twitter. We needed a steal, but basically uh, it covered by three. And then also, if you picked uh, Baylor and took the points, you did quite well. I parlayed the two. I actually thought about just playing Baylor straight up. Probably should have done that. As well, again, we got J-Rod. You can follow him at J-Rod Show. we got some more picks for you today. We're going to branch out a little bit, do some golf, in addition to the baseball and the basketball. However, right there, presented by BUSR.com backslash 5RSN. That's where you get your 20% bonus. So not only can you get the right picks, but you get some extra money to play with as well. If you use Bitcoin, right. you get 100%. All right, J-Rod, let's get to it. Uh, big event coming up. Uh, you know, no Tiger Woods, obviously, so it doesn't have quite the same cachet. We don't know if we'll ever see Tiger on a golf course again, actually. But there are some new names here. There are some interesting names. Um, we got two different things that we could play here. We can play the first round. We can play the entire tournament. Who do you like for both? Well, let's start with uh, the beginning, which is the, the first round. Obviously, this is the Masters. It's Augusta. Uh, the, the course, from what I'm hearing, everyone telling me it's going to be playing firm. So you've got to be a boomer, okay? You've got to really be able to hit it here. And... First round leader. I like Jordan Spieth. He's 16 to 1 to be on top of the leaderboard after Thursday. And listen, he's won this event. He's finished top five in uh, four of his last top uh, five finishes. Four of his last six starts have been top five finishes. So he's playing well. He won on Sunday. So he's coming into some momentum and he's got a green jacket. So if anyone has some ability of how to play that course, had success there. And you know what? He's a, he's a quick starter. So why not? That's 16 to 1 to be the leader after the first day. I'll take it. Jordan Peet. All right. But it's not just the first day. we got four to play with. So who ends up winning this thing at the end? Listen, I, I was shocked as anyone when I looked up John Rahm. Why? John Rahm Rodriguez. That's his full name. He's a Spaniard. He's from the <laughs> motherland. Listen. He became a dad on Sunday. You know, as a journalist, you know, Ethan, these are the kinds of stories mm. that just sort of write themselves. He wasn't even going to play in the Masters. The baby came early, okay? <laughs> the last time we had something like this, the guy won the Masters, okay? He, listen, he's got the last three Masters. He's finished in the top nine, okay? His last two starts, top ten. Seven of his last nine starts have been top ten. Hit momentum. He's playing well. 12-1. to Got to bet on the motherland, right? John Rom Rodriguez to win the Masters at 12 to 1. Wow, look at that. All right, so John Rom Rodriguez, go with that one, JRR. Uh, let's switch over, though, right now. Let's do a little bit of baseball, then we'll get to the hoops after that. Uh, what are you seeing? Well, listen, Orioles Yankees tonight play 630 Eastern. It's John Means for the Orioles, who pitched an absolute gem. For the Red Sox on opening, uh, for the Orioles against the Red Sox on opening day, against Jamison Tyon, who is a new Yankee, he was with the Pirates. That's also my son's name, so it's all <laughs> tied together here. Listen, the, the Orioles don't have much of an offense. The Yankees, they've given up seven runs the last two nights have the Orioles. I think John Means is going to bring it down over under his nine. I like the under nine in this one, okay? It's getaway day. Everyone wants to get on that plane, get out of town, especially in New York after three days. I got to get out of here. Not a lot of offense. Good pitching tonight. I'll take under Orioles Yankees under nine tonight. All right, let's pivot to the NBA. No heat tonight. Uh, lost last night to the Grizzlies. Gave up a lot of points actually. Uh, but let's take a look at Knicks Celtics and Pelicans Nets. We got a couple of New York games. Let's start with Pelicans Nets. All right. Well, first of all, this is one of those things that you're going to have to wait up until the last minute. Kevin Durant is supposed to come back. Brandon Ingram is supposed to play. If all that happens along with Zion. I think the over 231 is an easy get. New Orleans 32 16 and 1 hitting the over this year. The Nets have struggled against the over their last 10 games. They're, they've lost the under at 7 of the last 10. But I think if you got Durant, if you got Ingram with Zion, 231 is easy. So I would wait, you know, as you get closer, but you can always do an in game to adjust. But for right now, if everyone plays, over 231 Pelicans Nets. It does appear Durant's going to play. Of course, we're not going to see Harden for a couple of weeks. Can't seem to see the three of them together at any point. All right, Knicks, Celtics, uh, both kind of in that middling mess there after the top three in the East. These are teams trying to stay out of the play-in, basically. 
longtime rivals. One has been a little bit of uh, it's better than expected. The other one's been worse. What do you see? There is an interesting story here. The Celtics, their last eight home games, mm-hmm. the under has hit. I know. You, I know. And I, I should have played it last time when you told me. I almost did. And I've been under this. And, and the number is and now they've made an adjustment. It's creeped down tonight. It's 209 and a half. That's a low. I mean, I was getting it at 220, 217. Those are easy under 209 and a half. I think the streak ends tonight. I think we get it over tonight. Knicks, Celtics, and the, the both teams are med- are muddling. They're, they're a mojito. They're muddling. <laughs> 209 and a half, I still think is doable. If they hit this under tonight, then they'll never hit an over again in, in, in Boston. And for some reason, the under in Boston, eight straight games for them at home. I think it comes to an end tonight. I go Nick Celtics over 209 and a half. All right. So, streak breaker tonight. Let's go through it. Uh, we've got two picks there uh, Spieth, Rom, Rodriguez on the Masters, Pelicans, Nets. Maybe play and I'll, the I'll, I'll leave you with this. By the way, Dustin Johnson is the favorite to win the Masters at nine to one. Mm-hmm. The favorite has the last 10 years, no favorite has won nice the Masters. One. All right. So, so, don't play it. Don't, don't play it. And don't, don't get fooled. Either. Don't, don't get, get fooled. fooled. Nick Celtics, break the streak tonight. Orioles, Yankees, you go under. All right, thanks, J-Rod. Again, BUSR.com backslash 5RSN. Get that 20% bonus. Get it, get it.